In this video, we will show you how to replace your front inside fender liner on this Chevy Tahoe. This will be located inside of your front fender. Let's get into it. Okay friends, let's get started on our job. In order to gain access to our inside fender liner, you're going to want to safely raise the front of the vehicle by the frame. When you do that, it'll create a gap in between the wheel and the fender. Let's continue on using a trim tool. On your fender liner, you're going to find that you have several push clips to remove. Ours has different ones. Some of them are two-piece. You get underneath the center, pull that out to unlock it, and then remove the outer portion. There's those two pieces. Just slide them together and set that aside. Others you'll find are only a single push clip. For that, you just go ahead and get underneath it and pull it right out of there. Now that we have all the push clips out of there, let's continue on to grabbing onto the front of the inside fender liner. You'll find that you have a clip up along this area. Just go ahead and give this a tug to separate it. Now we can take hold of this and start bringing it down. Now we can start pulling this down. Along the top area here, you should have a couple wiring harnesses that press down and into it. You would just want to use your trim tool, carefully get in between that area and separate the two. We'll continue following that. You're going to find that you have another wiring harness along the back side here. We'll just pry that out of place. You can see that you have the little tab sticking out through the outer portion here. There's that one. We'll do the gray one as well. That's on this larger set of wiring. Now we can take hold of this. We're going to push it inboard to remove it along the rear and slide it out of place. There it is, friends. All right, let's get ready to install our fender liner. Let's take this and start putting it in place. Now, once we have it in here, we're going to continue on with the wiring that presses in along the backside. You remember that we had the black tab that protruded through, and we also had the gray one. Once we have those in place, we'll continue on to our upper wiring as well. For us, one of our tabs is broken. We'll make sure we put in the one that is here. Now that we have our wiring in place, let's continue on to putting this in place as well. We should just be able to flex this around, slide it behind this area, and then we can align our push clips. Now we can continue on to putting in our push clips. We'll make our way all the way around. Now for the final stage, we'll just come right over here and reconnect our metal clip. Pass that on there. Make sure it's nice and secure. All right, friends, we fully installed our inside fender liner. At this point, go ahead and get your vehicle back down on the ground. Take it for a road test. Make sure you don't hear any funny noises. Thanks for watching. When only the best will do, demand TRQ.
the only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.